All right, Reapers and Reavers, we are back. This is video 49. We are heading into endgame missions. So we're looking at four skull to five skull, probably four skull. I might entertain going down up down to a three and a half skull mission if there's something really interesting to do. But while we still have access to uh, Clan Wolf store, let's sell some junk. I'd like to get up to 20 million here. So sell, sell, sell. They don't have anything that interesting to buy per se. We don't have any mechs to sell, but we do have equipment. Uh, we can start at the bottom. Yeah, we don't need this Pharaoh Fibrous. Sell that. Oh, there are three. That's 200,000. Uh, regular lower arms. We don't need that. And Omnipod, Omnipod, Rangefinder. We want that. We should put that in one of our mechs, actually. Probably the missile boats. Uh, TTS missile. Angel ECM is really good. Plus two defense. We might upgrade. It's not clan, so it's a little heavier. But anyways, Guardian ECM does a one for one. This one is a two for two. It takes two slots, so it's a two, two, two. Uh, active probe, uh, TSM. I don't do punchy robots. Get rid of that. Um, okay. Heat stuff. Engine core, 300. Bye. E-cooling, plus two. Don't need it. CDHS, don't need it. Uh, XL engine, don't need it. Look at that. 18.2. Uh, we're getting there. Uh, these we need. Don't really need 29 of those, though. Let's keep about a dozen. No, let's keep 20. Nah, hell, we'll keep them all. Why not? Um, is there anything in here like machine guns that we don't use? Arrow ammo, arrow ammo, inferno. Nope, nope. Pretty much all the stuff here that the ammo, I mean, it's not going to get you a lot of money if you sell it. Sell it if you're desperate. Um, otherwise, keep it. You never know. We've got six, eight A pods. Six or eight, I don't know. A pods, which are great to put on uh, small mechs to get the battle armor off of you. This explosive pod deals area effect damage to units in a small radius. Has been repurposed for general combat. Is capable of damaging friendlies as well, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> so anyways. It's there. If ever we entertain the idea of putting it there um nothing here really we would want to get rid of maybe take a look at this large pulse large lasers get rid of that it's not clan uh clan 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 uh, bombast laser get rid of it we're not going to use it uh er large pulse er large laser we have 81 i think it's 81 or 61 we have 61 of these. We don't need that many. Okay, so let's keep 20 here. Let's do this. One point four million right there. That's good. Medium pulses. We have 25. We don't need that many. Let's keep six of these. Boom. We hit our marker. 20 million. Ha. Ha. <laughs> we are there. We are there. Thank you, Clan Wolf. Uh, um, automated automation. That is a engineering upgrade, if I recall. Yes, it is. It's this one, if I recall. Yeah. Okay. So, sophisticated Star League era automaton. Okay. Well, 
it's in the process of being upgraded right now. It'll give us plus two tech points. We should probably invest in this now that we are at endgame. We definitely want this and this. We don't... I mean, once we start looking at this, we're going to need Gamma Pod, this, as a med bay. That will help us, but this is what's going to help us the most. This is a machine shop, basically a foundry. What is this? Improve automation. We can get that later. It's not expensive. We're not going to be getting those unless absolutely necessary. So our focus are... Our focus is drop weight limit three, four, and five, and our recreation areas. A little bit of this as we go along. That's our focus. Um, we've already upgraded our pilots, so let's not waste any time whatsoever and go take a look at that mission. That's probably the last mission we're going to be doing in Clan Wolf Space. I think we should probably head over to uh, Ghost Bear Space before these guys hate us too much and send a kill team. Which, I mean, that's fine. I don't mind fielding the commander in a tank and getting her blown up and, you know, putting her in the med bay for two, three months. But still. Okay, Clash of the Titans. We gotta do this. Two assault mechs. As long as we don't land... Bam! Right next to the assault mech, we're fine. Um, one of my careers, I did one that was a half skull, and this is how I got a Mackie 100 ton mech. It's it's inner sphere, granted, and it, it made me broke to kit it out. But when you are in your second mission and you get a Mackie, that changes everything for the game for you. Because the Mackie just runs up front and squashes stuff and blows it up. You're basically you're winning everything from that point on, right up until mid count, mid content. So yeah, okay. So five salvage, four skulls. That's the Hunchback 2C. Oh yeah, we forgot about that guy, didn't we? <laughs> Yeah, we just built this inner sphere mech. We're just it's sitting there. Let's go take a look. We'll strip it, of course. We're not gonna keep it. Come on. Um, we're gonna strip it for cash and maybe just sell it outright. Cause there's nothing here. ERM lasers, we got tons of that. This we want, however. This and this and this. Look at this. This is beautiful. This stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. Minimize our cost for stripping it. Uh, it doesn't have anything else that I would just go gaga over. It's got two heat sinks, but I've got a ton of those already, right? How many do I have? Uh, 74. I'm really not worried. And we don't need anything else. We don't. I suppose we could talk, take the two lasers just for the shits and giggles of it. There you go. Zero days and we'll scrap the rest. See how much money we get off of that puppy. What do we get for it? 496. That's almost laughable. Right? For a medium mech. Our inner sphere ones would probably get us about 750,000 a piece. But hey, 21.4 million. Yay! Okay, mission board. Let's go. Let's jump into Clash of Titans. It is for Word of Blake. Clan Wolf is the target. We have no idea who the secondary op for is. We only find out when we get there. Um, do we want ballistas for this? Probably not. We want to put up as many turrets and distractions as possible okay so we are going to deploy with our mobile headquarters and you get to see them in action finally deploy deploy so uh, I'm almost out of coffee here while that's deploying I think I'm gonna run over and get myself a fill up I'll be right back
Well, look at that. I'm back and it still hasn't loaded the game. Okay, so there is a potential for some good salvage here. We are going to beg the RNG gods. The really nice gods, the RNG. Please give us an assault. Or at least a heavy. At the very least. <laughs> wow. Taking a long time. I got the funny impression there's more than just two assaults down there. Oh yeah, there's got to be a whole bunch of stuff down there. It wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be loading this long if it was just two assault mechs. So we're gonna see some stuff. We're gonna um, use those vehicles to the best of our uh, uh, of our capacity. Put down turrets, battle armor, and if need be, if there's little peons running around, we're gonna use the strafing runs on them. We've got four that we put down, three from the vehicles, one from the mech. We're gonna, it's gonna be a bloodbath. We are going to wipe them out. Wipe them out. Okay, here we are. I don't see immediate contact. It's all the way over there. Oh, fantastic. That is so good. Now the question is, where will they land? Oh, we got a little bit of freezing going on here. What the hell? Okay. All the way over there. What's our battle plan? We could just move up. We need to get those strafing vehicles into range, but we need to make sure that they don't get smushed in the fight, right? Because if the other guys land here, then we are screwed. So let's start with getting our guys into position. We'll bring our mechs down here, right? Form a skirmish line. On my way. Mm, nope, missed all boats in the back. Vehicles. Well, we're going to bring our tank up. He's our long range hitter. These guys will probably have to go up the road, but in the meantime, we are going to hide them in the trees. Got the ECM protection, protection, and protection, and overprotection. <laughs> can never have too much protection. Okay. All right, let's get down to it. Let's see what's down there. On my way. That's our summoner. We'll put him right here. Let's push the Black Lantern all the way as far... No, that's the Lupus, sorry. So let's put the Lupus right here. You're now, we've got the Black Lantern. Let's move the Black Lantern into cover here. Do we see anything yet? Nope. But we hear something. Missiles. Missiles. Artillery, right here, in the tree cover. Rolling. These guys, mm -hmm -hmm. they travel best on the road. That's the thing, right? So, oh, it's risky, but it needs to be done. Here they go. Now 
Now here's the thing, we need to get visual contact uh, in order to get the ball going. So we are going to move the Black Lantern up in hopes that we spot something. There they are. Ha, huh, look at that. We got a 45er, a 45er, an 80, and a 60. Now I have the funny impression that's not even including... Nope, 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 nope. Okay. I don't think that even includes the Assault Mech. Or maybe it does. Maybe the 80 tonner is the assault mech. Um, I think this outcropping right here is our best here and here, if we can get them in the crossfire. But the thing is, is we don't want to go in without being at, without access to cover, right? So, because we have no idea where the other guy is going to land. So, 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 maybe we should use the rocks. That will give us protection against indirect fire at the at the, uh, against direct fire at the very least. You're asking a lot of an old guy. And we will keep the artillery all the way back here. Whoa. Okay, so, and let's move these guys back here. The idea is to try to draw the enemy out. Get him to, get them to move to us. Right? There's the other assault mech. That's where it's going to land. So are these guys... I want to know... Are they still within range? They're all still within range. So let's do this. Is that the assault mech? It's a royal thug. That is the assault mech. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. It is not an omni mech. Boo. Okay, so they did the first move. Let's see where we can put our turrets here. And we're just putting down ordinary turrets. And the purpose of that is just to draw attention. I'm going to put them in a semicircle here because the fight is for the assault is going to happen over here. Anything that wanders this way will get turret action. probably the tank and the assault has yeah the assault has three okay <sighs> well that's too bad I was really really hoping for a omni mech assault mech a blood ass would have been fantastic but you know I'll take what I can get Go, 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 go. Come on. Make a decision. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We were expecting a little bit of flack from them. Don't worry. Okay. Next turret. Right here on the outcropping. Oh, we get to put all of our stuff down, huh? Okay. 
wonder if the other guy's going to drop a lance as well, which would be kind of cool. And, no, that's not what I want. I want to do this. Got a 69 on him. I can do that. Minimal damage. Can we hit him from here? No? Then let's move up. And we are going to be saving our resolve because we want to use that on the assault max. That's a good hit. Structure exposed. He might be gone in a sec. Still a good number. It's about 50. Doesn't really matter because he's not going to survive this. That poor little five, that poor little 45 tonner. And there he goes. Four salvageable parts, though. Hey, at the very least, we might get some good salvage out of this. But that's okay. Oh, LBX, huh? Okay. Oh God, I was sleeping. What do you want? And what can we do with this guy? Do we want to move up and hit, or do we want to use our turret? Let's do our turret airdrop. And this time, we're doing standard LRM turret. That'll give us a little bit of long range cover. here oh we can oh ladies and gentlemen yes 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 let's get a bead elevated attack 92% can we do oh even better I love it I love it I love it 99% with the ER large lasers those are good hits And definitely want a drone. Just because they love to, they're good for drawing attention. They're really, really good for drawing attention. Let's bring the night gear up here. Because the night gear's got really good range. And we could probably lay a smack down on this. With a battle lord. Wow. Not as good as I thought he was going to do. All right. Let's see what the sun spider can do then. Garrisoned, get up there. I don't think I can get in range. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right here. Right there? Right there. Ooh, okay. We'll try it. There he goes. Headshot! <laughs> So you'll note that it's 40%. We took out two, which means there's still a mech hidden somewhere. One, two. And I bet you it's the assault. It's probably hidden in the back. This is not the assault. There you go. It's a assault. 
Usually in these missions, the assault is a hundred tonner. There's something moving back there. Oh, there you go. We've got drops. And we've got one, two, three. Those look like clan colors. They look like Jade Falcon. Wow! Oh, this is going to be a good one. Okay, so we have another mech somewhere. Somewhere. It's back there. There it is. There it is. Okay, so we can destroy this with indiscriminate firepower. Let's do that, shall we? We got a 92 with the sniper artillery. Good splash damage. Because, I mean, he's got ERPPCs and SRM6. There's, there's really nothing on that mech that we want. We can completely obliterate it, and I'll be happy. This will extend the mission time a little bit more, but that's okay. They're taking their dandy old time answering again. Okay, so, what else can we do? We're too far to strafe, right? Way too far to strafe. So we need to move these vehicles into strafing range, which means putting them in harm's way, but there's no other way to do it, okay? I say we use the highway now that we know where the enemies are dropping and we use the battle armors to our advantage. The turrets and the pro the uh, VTOL should attract their attention enough to keep these guys safe. And I mean, these mobile headquarters can take a substantial amount of punch. They're not weak. Good job. The LRM is doing its job. LRM turret. We should follow up with these guys. Yes, sir. We got good numbers, so we don't have to use any resolve. Structure exposed. Haha, <laughs> he's unsettled. It's going to be a lot more than that when I'm done. Here we go. 96 is all around. Bye bye. I'm surprised. Nope, he's gone. <laughs> Three salvage. Hey, good cash. Now it's time to pull back. Brace 
and reserve. And let's see what happens over here. Once they start engaging each other, then we won't have to worry about it. Enemy, it is Clan Jade Falcon. Our old enemies. Oh, wow. We are hated by both sides, by both op fours. And that is, I bet you, a, a big 100 ton mech. And they've got a bead on him. We're going to let this play out for a round. We're just going to move. But once this starts happening, we really got to move in on them very, very fast. Or else they're going to tear each other apart and we won't get the salvage we want. But we have a good chance to panic some pilots out here. Go, go, go. Okay. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Let's start moving in. sleeping. What do you want? Oh, I don't like going fast. It's scary. There you go. We've got a Grindle. A non-Omnimec. Alarm turret is doing its job. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a Skilla. I've never seen one. It is not inner, it is not Omni. 400. Four, some good parts. Oh well, we'll see. Jade Falcon brought some heavy hitting weaponry. realize it. it's my turn to reserve yeah we're gonna reserve all the way down to one all right I'll sit here I got plenty to do not like I'm running low on time or anything doing the stupid thing of retreating and going after the Matahari. Well, because Clan Jade Falcon's coming down here with several 
heavy to assault max. We want any of that salvage. We are going to have to move in very, very quickly. Okay, so let's start with taking care of the Grendel. Give ourselves the maximum opportunity here. We just miss out our way through that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That works. He's unsettled. It's going to be a lot worse than that when we're done. They've got a bogey on him. We are going to use Plato and one artillery strike. There you go. If he's not stressed by now, I don't know. Like, what the hell? Ah, well, enemy turn. What are they going to do? They're shooting missiles. Well, we might not get a chance to take a look at that Skilla after all. I think they're pounding it pretty good. Precise strike. Precise strike in the back. Basically that six evasion is not helping him because we just took out his torso and almost all of his back. He's injured, but I don't think he's bleeding out. Okay, time to use the Black Lander. And we will shoot him in the back. For 99%. Bye-bye. Punch out, buddy. I think he's done. Yeah, he punched out. Three salvage. That's okay. It's a it's a good salvage run. For our first very, very first mission, it's a good salvage run. And we don't know what they have up there. For all we know, it might be... Oh, look at that. 75 tons. 70 tons. That's probably a hundred tonner, if not maybe a hundred tonner up there. You never know. Okay, let's bring these guys up, 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 as fast as we can. We'll get them into the city area if we can and uh, go from there. Okay. Now we should probably approach this from a logistical way. This is a medium ranger, so let's put him over here with the Black Lantern. Long range. Over here. Now they're going to be uphill from us, so they have the advantage. 
Ultra AC-10, medium range. Over here. Medium range. Over here. Long range. Over here. Let's make some bad decisions at high speed. And we've got support from our four turrets up here. And I think that's the only thing we're going to need. Ah, what do we see? There's a sun spider. There is a kingfisher. I don't think that's an omni. Is a night cheer. Oh yes. There's our assault right there, the Kingfisher. Kingfisher is an Omni Mac. But I don't recall ever fielding one. So let's just take care of this guy as soon as possible. Actually let's let's let them take care of him. We'll take care of the two that the three that we really want. We want to save these parts as much as possible. So let's do that. Yes, Commander. Can we put a turret anywhere? Still too far, huh? Okay, well. Let's boogie. Come on. Guess we don't get to use these mobile headquarters as much as we wanted to this mission, but that's okay. They can't do call shots to the head anyways. They are there for support. What we can do, however, is give these guys a little bit something to pause about. So let's do this. It's probably going to be minimal damage, but that's okay. We're not looking to wipe them out, right? Okay, we are going to reserve our way all the way down to one. Oh, sorry. Hmm, hmm. Enemy's turn. I think they just realized that we're here. They're like, oh, there's a whole full of kitted lance out there. Hmm. Yeah, they're going after the Matahari. That's our eyes. So they want to take it out, right? Which is a smart thing to do. And the Night Gear is going to reserve. I want all three, personally. I wish I could get them all, but um, there's 
I think, four salvage choices here. So we're going to have to pick and choose. I would pick the night gear, of course. Everybody's going after our Matahari, and I don't know why, but that's okay. We can drop another one in an instant. Okay. Let's deal with this. First things first. That's Skilla. Let's take it. Sorry, Clan Wolf, but not sorry. It's in your sphere. I'm not interested in it. We're just going to scrap it. you have Ready for orders. Moving to position. we're here to take all of your max I want them all now hits. I mean, it's a hundred tonner. It's not going to go down in one or two shots, but there's the knockdown. That's what we wanted. And if we can get our mobile headquarters into position to put down some turrets and whatnot, we are golden. We're going to get the support fire. We need to take down these three, these three guys. Here comes the Kingfisher. So these are three army mechs. And they are heavy punchers, right? They're not uh, they're nothing to scoff at. The night cheer's moving in, gonna take a shot at the Matahari. That's probably gonna Yep, there it goes. There goes the Matahari. I was expecting that. I'm not worried. Now we get to do this. Or should we strafe him? No, we should probably strafe up here. And we're going to use the Batu. There you go. Oh God, I was sleeping. Do a turret drop. Where am I? We're still fairly far away here. So we could drop a turret here or here. I think here would be the better place. Do an LBX. Confirm. Deploy another drone. there and he's already moved so it's not like he's going to get up yep. we don't need a battle mech but we want do we need the LRM carrier not at the moment so we do have some shots here we can take Oh, I really like the fact that we could probably take him. Should we? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. 
we can take him out, that's perfect. You know, it's it'll be salvage. Can we continue that streak without damaging our mechs? Without friendly fire here. Yes, we can. Okay, so. Here we go. Bye-bye. He should be gone. Or punching out. He's panicked. Tex. If I am here, I am not hitting any of my own. Which is what I want. And let's just finish it. Gone. Okay, he's gone. One salvage part, probably. Doesn't matter. The ones we want are on top of the hill. And we are building up all that resolve. Here comes the airstrike. Nobody argues with smoking craters. And we're hoping that the airstrike doesn't take out like... Oh, oh, we got some... There you go. We got some damage up there. There you go. Maybe make them nervous or stressed or... Second Matahari is coming in. Sun Spider is narked. Oh, the Sun Spider is almost gone. Wow. Those battle fighters really hit hard. Nightjear. Oh, took a part of Nightjear. Please, not major parts. Is he dead? Is he done? Is he finished? I saw an engine hit. Uh... Core 350. The Batu might have done more than I wanted it to. We need eyes up there. Yeah, the Night Gear's down. Okay. Crap. Or is it? We need eyes up there. So we are going to sprint up. Like so. Who do we see? The Nightjear is still there, but it took quite a bit of damage. So, and the Sun Spider as well. So let's let's tag this guy. Our assault mech, the Kingfisher, because. Overall, if we can get that, that would be best. Got a 74%, we're going to take it. That's a good splash. He's knocked down. I don't know if it's the night cheer that got knocked down or the kingfisher. I can't see. And they've been completely useless to us so far, unfortunately. So let's just keep moving him into the city. And if we get to use him, we get to use him. If we don't, we don't.
Come on. I'll be actually doing some hits on the Sun Spider. He's panicked. If we can get a headshot on him, that would be fantastic. We are going to save the missiles and reserve our way down. I think they're all four, three, and two. Oh God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Can I get the summoner to hit the Sun Spider? That would be fantastic. I can get in range. My percentages aren't good, but guess what I got? I got this. So, let's try this. I... Nice! I think we just got for... Bingo! There you go. Sun Spider. Woo! At the very least, we got ourselves another Sun Spider. Now he's either going to go after the, come down here, or go after the Black Lantern. The smart move would be to go after the Black Lantern, but they're going to go after the Black Lantern. Giving me a chance to do another, ah, fail shut down over right. I get to shoot him in the head. I am definitely, definitely going to shoot him in the head. Pilot is injured. Who else can do a headshot? I'm on the clock. What do you want? This is going pretty good. Except I don't want to shoot my mech in the back. So let's do this. Not the best shot. Can we increase that? Yes, we can. Okay. Now. <sighs> Reduce all of this to one. <laughs> and let's try to hit him in the head. Engine destroyed. One cell. I'm hoping for three. One. Ah. Well, we got an extra part of night here. Um, now the Kingfisher. We really want the Kingfisher. So we are going to reserve. And let him move in. We're going to sandpaper him with the... With the missile boats. And... What is he going to do? Eject. <laughs> that would be fantastic. Goes after the Matahari. Which is predictable. one target so let's do it he's stressed no he's not even he's perturbed I'm 
unsettled. Okay. Um, here's what we can do here. Let's... Let's limit the amount of missiles we're going to use on him to this. We'll take small pot shots at him and try not to damage too much. Ooh, boys. Yeah, we, okay. We need to be careful with those missiles. Do I get a shot? I do. Is it risky for my max? So-so. Let's try to go for the legs. Missed. It's okay. Got an AC jam. numbers are not fantastic we're going to lower this to one and we're still going to go for the legs negative but we did hit the center torso is that stressing him out a little bit more nope Okay, so can I get up behind him? I don't want to hit that side. That's the thing, right? He is damaged there. Um, he's got no pips. I've got no... No reason, really, to bug him. So let's do a ground hit. Right over here. Just freak him out a little bit. That was a good hit. Okay. Um, these guys can't really do anything right now. So... Let's move the missile boats off this way. Because he... What is he packing? Quite a bit of laser. So... I don't want to hit him too hard either. I just want to freak him out. Just a little bit at a time. Like this.
two LRM fives might have been too much, but maybe, maybe not. No, we're good. Sensor lock him and jam him up. Give him a little bit more penalties. Yep. He's got minus two difficulty, so there you go. We're going to reserve. The LBX not quite making it there. Put the lupus in harm's way for now. A lot of an old guy. But we are just going to use one or two lasers here. Running them up and knocking them down just like Bellow there goes the arm. We really need to be careful now. He's Still, he doesn't look like he's going to punch out whatsoever, is he? Still only unsettled. Okay, we are going to reserve. What can we do here? One laser at a time. We're not dropping battle armor to blow it up this time. <laughs> Good, that's a jammed. Yep. Move up a bit. Clear line of fire. Like such. Still just unsettled. Wow, this guy's uh, hardcore. I'm on the clock. What do you want? All right. What? You can smoke and fly. See if we can't finish this in the next ten minutes. What is he going to do? I am going to jump jet behind him and shoot him in the back. See if that stresses him out. I think that will. up and shoot the Matahari and miss dude
Done. Uh, should we move up? Should we move up? Let's move up. Let's move them up. Sensor lock. Totally mess them up. Commander. Racking up quite the penalties. Four penalty. It's only going to last to the la end of the round, but it's still. There you go. Still got four penalties. Okay. An initiative of three. The Matahari's coming in. Sensor locking him, I hope. Negative. I'm ready. I'm going to drop an artillery piece in his back. Pop. Stress him out a little bit more. Is he still only innerved? Still only unsettled, really? That's impressive. Get a bead on him. I do have an elevated shot. But I don't want to do that much damage. <sighs> now he's stressed. There you go. There you go. That's a little bit better. Our turrets can't really do anything at that distance, and I'm glad. The LBX might. Doing everything we can to get that Kingfisher. <laughs> and we probably won't succeed, but it's in the trying, right? That's important. Oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? You're asking a lot of an old guy. Okay. This is where we start shooting him in the head. Or do we go for the leg? We should go for the leg. Because we might hit this part and we don't want to do that. And we don't want to use the missiles. They're inaccurate. Percentage is very low, so we're going to keep going for the leg. Or average, I should say. Still only panicked. Whew. We are 
going to not use both and not use two shots and only use one. We keep missing. Even though he has got no evasion pips and no advantages whatsoever. Okay. That leg's got plenty. It can take three. He's still only panicked. Yeah, uh, stressed, I mean. Wow. This guy's got nerves of steel and balls of iron. Oh my god. He's only stressed. I'm on the clock. What do you want? All right, let's get down to it. There. Those were hits, right? Those were good hits. But this is going too slow. We need to. Speed it up. Okay. Let's see what he does. It's his turn. Let's see what he does. Be fantastic if he punched out, but that's not going to happen. We need to panic him to do that. Come on, buddy. Give me your mech. Now we're taking damage as, as we should be. I mean, we... We asked for this, right? Well, we could technically do an LRM-5. I want to see how much... Stop. I want to see how much he's got. He's got 48 and 65. I think we can do... The LRM-5s. One LRM-5 should be fine. So it's 10 damage. 20. 2 times 5. 4 times 5. 6. 30. There's 48 on the arm. And 85, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Panicked? Yet? Still only stressed. Even though that we're shooting him from every possible side. That's got 42, that's got 65. He sink is destroyed. Punch out, buddy. Give me your mech. Hmm. Oh, we're done with these guys. We're not going to get to use our mobile headquarters any more than turret drops, so what? We're just going to leave him there. We're going to focus on getting this Kingfisher. If we can get this Kingfisher, that would be fantastic. That's an assault mech. Even if we only get parts, it's a good start. 
ground assault in the back, ladies and gents. I heard a pop, but no smash. That's what you want. Okay, a little bit more damage. We still only stressed. What is it going to take? We need to be really careful with the amount of damage we do here. So we're doing 1020. Okay. Okay. Panicked. Finally. There you go. Okay. Now. Now. We're getting somewheres. Two times five, two times five, that's ten twenty. He's got forty two and fifty five, okay. Punch out. Go home. Go back to Clan Jade Falcon Space where we left you. Shot in the back. It's a pretty rotten thing to do, but you know what? We want this mech. You're not coming off of this rock with this with it with that mech. We are taking it home, either in pieces or as a whole. Don't care. Works out to the main, the same for us. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, no, no. Oof, that was close. That LBX tower. Oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Don't want to do too much. Is that a headshot? I think it was a headshot. Where is he? Nope. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Dude. Just give it up. What is he going to do? I can't wait to see what he's going to do. If he shoots at the Matahari, I'm just going to laugh. Okay, so the Sun Spiders got exposed. Did we lose anything? At this point, we got to ask ourselves, is it worth the extra damage? We didn't lose anything to get this mech. Who has any resolve left? No one. You're done. You're done. You're done. <sighs> so, 
let's put the sun spider into the corner. No more damage for you. And since we don't have anybody that has any resolve, we can't do a called shot. So we're just going to brace. That simple. And is he still panicked? Yes. Ah, shoot. That's not what I wanted to do. God damn it. When this game jams, it fucking annoys me. The game is fucking digitizing again. It's annoying as all fuck. Punch out, buddy. Why is he not punching out? Just gonna keep staying there, right? Hey. Done. Done. And the object's tower is probably gonna take a shot at him and hopefully not take out his torso. Oh, mother plucker! God damn it! Just had to, didn't you? You just had to take the fucking shot. Well, there goes that salvage. At this point, we are taking the headshot. We've got nothing else to lose. We're just going to finish it. Headshot. Do it. Punch out, buddy. There you go. Three parts. Well, that sucks ass. It's not what we wanted. Sometimes your airdrop turrets suck. But, hey, this was our first assault class level uh, mission end game. We walked away with minimal damage on the Sun Spider, and that's really because we just pushed our luck to the maximum limit, absolutely to the end. Uh, we should have done better. Could have done better. We will do better. <laughs> but we have another Sun Spider. So that's good. But yeah, the game the game is jammy, cluggy. We we lost money there. I don't care. That's minimal. That's why we have twenty one million. Not worried about that either. There you go. Okay, so here's the thing. Where's we don't want the king? Do we want the kingfisher? Yes, we want the kingfisher. But 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 where's the sun spider? Four, one. Do we have any other Sun Spider parts? Nightjear, Hellbringer, Linebacker, Lupus. Do how many Nightjear parts do we have? How many Night Pier Nightjear parts were here? One. Well, you just suck, don't you? This was a sucky mission ending. That's not how I wanted this to end. Ah. The Kingfisher's speed and relative invulnerability kept it in heavy use. Yeah, we have to take the Sun Spider at this point. We don't have a choice. 
we are going to try to get some Kingfisher parts here. Please be good to us. Nope. Two Kingfisher parts. And a Royal Thug part of all things. ERPPCs, M Pulse, Small Pulse, Ultra AC20. Get rid of that. And that. 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 Well, it wasn't the spectacular mission we were hoping for. The salvage was there. We it just didn't play out the way we wanted it to. That's all. It's and and that's going to happen. Don't walk away frustrated. Just walk away. Uh, we did get a sun spider out of it, which is a fantastic mech. It's fast. It's versatile. We're going to have fun adding it into the lineup. We are already, and that's that's a heavy. So we're already moving, phasing out our medium mechs. We might keep the black liner just for the hell of it, but if we do, we're putting targeting systems into the head. We need to start using that smart so that it can do cold shots in the back. I think that and the Storm Crow might, that's what we might do with them. And I think we're going to replace one of our missile boats with this Sun Spider. I think that's what we're going to do. All right, ladies and gents, that's it for now. That's already an hour and a half. Keep your stick on the ice. Peace.